Well, hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. How did you sleep? Hard. Hard? I hit the pillow and boom. But I mean, we were up until 11, 11.30. Yeah. It's funny because you, I mean, yeah. I turned on the TV and... Didn't see the opening credits. No. You immediately were like out you were just out cold and i there's a movie on hbo it's another it's a brand new clint eastwood movie it's like premiering until october 7th how I'm are like, we saying brand new and clint eastwood how old is he is he, he's one of the greatest actors of all time but is and he, he's still going but i mean is he gonna be 120 years old I'm i like, don't know he's probably the romantic lead too so i tried to watch it and i think i pretty much got past the opening credits good job and then was out <laughs> out cold so yeah slept nice and hard Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Day 19. 19. 19. We're in the last week of this. I can't believe we've made it this far. Yeah. I really, I, I mean, because it, there always seemed like there was some wrench that I didn't know how we were going to to make it because right. we had, you know, different meetings, different schedules where mm -hmm. get up early, stay up late. Right. We, we've gone on vacations. We've gone camping. Right. I mean, there's been so, we went for a day trip with Anthony. Like yeah. there's just so much going on that I think in the past I would have just excused myself, but because it's a challenge and we're accountable to you guys, we're doing it. Well, that's one thing to think about, you know, people, will ask like, well, when should I do something? Or, or you know, I'm going to do this then. There's never going to be the best time. Mm -hmm. At some point, and it's not just with your keto lifestyle. It's with everything. Any At goal. some point, you're just going to have to say, today is the day. Yeah. Today is the day I'm going to do it. And it doesn't matter what's going to be in front of me. I'm going to work through those days. And yeah, we could have easily said, you know, hey, we're going away with Anthony for a day. On that day, we're not going to do this challenge. Hey, we're going away to the Keys for two days. We planned this trip six months ago. It's not fair if we have it's to do it. It's not fair. But there's always going to be something. I mean, we, we tried to schedule this challenge between conferences. And there is a part of me right now that is still being like, I know you're about to go to Las Vegas for five days. And I know that... You're about to go to Las Vegas with your wife, who you've never been there with. Right. And that's why we ended the challenge. But I'm going, I feel like I should keep going. Well, and what we've learned is we haven't sacrificed anything that is important during this challenge. Right. So the time that we've spent together, mm -hmm. conversations wearing cute clothes, mm -hmm. like everything that is important in life still happens. Mm -hmm. It didn't matter what was on our plate, right. breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or what was, you know, in our flask, if it was water or if it was a flavored beverage, everything that really truly is important in life, spending time with your family, having good conversations, like that still happens. Yeah. We were still able to, you know, have that happen. The difference is by pushing through, we felt good the entire right. way. Instead of it being uncertain, what are we going to eat? I feel like in the past, when you're up and down and you're eating, you're wondering like, my question is, what is it going to be like feeling wise? Like right. how, how is my health going to be? Am I going to be able to stay up late and continue this conversation? Or am I feeling so headachy and, you know, depleted from the day because I'm not fueling myself well? Is that what's going to be, you know, the difference? Right. 
Well, it just comes down to at some point you're going to have to make a decision for what do you want for your goals? And for us, this challenge and being accountable to you guys yeah. and being accountable to Dr. Barry was more important than having that day off. And like you said, being on the challenge helped us get through some of those stressful days. We had a stressful day yesterday. It's already starting out to be a I think stressful we're day. Walking into for a day today, and we're just going to power through it. And at least knowing that we're only eating beef, butter, bacon, and eggs, that's making it a little bit easier because it's something that we don't have to think about. We don't have an unlimited food pantry to be like, what should I eat when I'm really upset? What right. should I eat when I'm miserable? Or just what should I eat in general? That I think has saved us. Like that's been really good to rely on. Yeah. So uh, we got a pretty busy day. Anthony and I have to go cut. Um, I've got a couple of videos to edit. We have Dr. Barry on our live stream tonight. How cool is that? So if you're seeing this on Friday, you can always go watch that on replay if you weren't able to tune in. We're really excited about that. We've got to start packing for Las Vegas. And I All just sequence. realized that, um, so we have a hotel Thursday through Sunday, uh -huh. but we're getting in on Wednesday. So, uh -oh. so the, the room blocks for the conference started on Thursday. So I have to, I keep forgetting to call the hotel and say like, I still need a room for Wednesday, but it wouldn't allow you to book it for oh, Wednesday wow. as a room block. So we may be homeless on Wednesday. So this, this should be interesting. Like anybody got a, a, a RV that we can live in for I was going to say, anybody got a couch we can sleep on? <laughs> no, we, we'll handle all that. But I know you've got a bunch of things to get going. I do want to say before we go, I'm seeing a lot of comments that people are not going to be happy when this challenge is over next week. Oh, well, thanks for that. Honestly, I am really appreciative that you guys have shared the journey with us. That has made it so special. Like how fun has it been to go places and then get to share like, hey, this is, you know, this is the scary monster we saw in right. Halloween Horror Nights. And this is the fish that we saw when we were, you know, swimming in the Keys. It's just been so nice to share our days with you. Yeah. And that's why they're not happy that it's anything. It, it's not about the fact that they're like, hey, beef, butter, bacon, and egg, greatest thing. But we are seeing a lot of those comments. It's a lot of the comments are from like Rhonda going, I'm going to be upset because you guys are going to stop blogging every day. But that's so precious. Thank this you. has shown us that we can vlog every day. Not that we want to because we have other kinds of videos. We can do hard and things And it though. is a lot of work to get a daily vlog up. But we are going to start vlogging a lot more. Because we can do it. Because we can do it. And we are enjoying doing it. I love it. So why don't you get going. I'm going to go get ready. I got to get Anthony up. High five day. We're going to get this day started. Me. I was like, okay, why are you not answering? I want to see how many times I can get you to say hello before you start thinking somebody's coming into. I know. Well, you. I was like, gosh, this is a this is a ballsy intruder. What are you doing? I am working on some stuff and things. How's your day going? It is going great. I had a fantastic meeting this morning. We premiered the Egg Witch mm -hmm. review video. And I'm getting excited for lunch because I know that there's more of that pork belly in the refrigerator. Where's mine? Yours is right there. Here. Getting cooked? Right here. No. Yes. No, look at how runny that egg is. That's a perfect egg. Ew. Perfect egg. There's no hamburger to put underneath it, so I can't eat it. You have pork. Eh. Did you get me a butter dish? I looked for one and I didn't see one. <sighs> so I'm on the hunt for a butter dish. I guess we'll just go we'll get one. How much could a butter dish cost? Well, I saw some at Home Goods for like six dollars. Yeah. That's so what I mean, I'm that's how not, much could a butter dish cost? I was just mm -hmm. looking for a you know thrift store. One. I want a butter dish because I want to start leaving the butter, butter dish. on the counter, which. Rachel's not a big fan of, but the bottom line is butter that's on the counter is better, right? It's Everything spreadable. is better. It's spreadable. It just works better. And it's not like, you know, you can leave butter on the counter for up to two weeks if it's a salted butter. It's got to be salted butter. Let's face it. A stick of butter isn't lasting two weeks in no. our house. A stick of butter isn't going to last two days on the was, counter in our I house. I was going to say, if it lasts two days, that's pretty amazing. Okay, here's what we got for lunch. Um... Rachel actually had to run to the store because we were out of dog food. So we had to get something just to get by until I can get over to the store to get it. Um, we have the other video coming up. 
You need to preview that, and then we can I'm launch it. it. And then tonight we have Dr. Barry. Yay! And I can't schedule that until we do the other premiere. Okay. So here's what we have for lunch. We have three perfectly cooked eggs over here. Over three here. disgusting cooked three eggs over there. Three perfectly cooked right on this Three side. perfectly cooked eggs. These are like over medium. And then we've got some of the pork belly from last night. So mine, to reheat it, I just threw it onto the electric blackstone here. Kind of soften it up a little bit. It's still nice and tender. And then Rachel likes hers. We discovered last night. Air fryer. Take it and put it in the air fryer. And now all of the fat on the outside gets like a caramelization almost. It is so crunchy and good, but yet the meat is still perfect. Air so fryer for that's the what we're going to have. We're probably going to eat some more later, but we have a bunch to do to get ready for the live stream tonight. So... Our day went from being like, oh, this isn't going to be a good day. To, to a great day. A great day. I'm excited about that. That's and how life is, right? One second. You never crazy. know. One second. Thank you, Lord. Yep. Um, Caleb looks like he's going to start a new job. I'm excited. It sounds a, like a really cool job. As a be behavioral uh, therapist. Uh huh. So I'm very excited about that. He's excited. You're always excited when your kid finds something that they connect with. Yeah. And working with special needs kids is just something that he is so passionate about. Right. So I'm I'm really excited for him to get started in this this new little path. So I did want to say uh, some people have asked about having a community on Patreon. We're not allowed to. <laughs> so Patreon used to have that as a feature. They cut it out and the only people that have it are people who had patreon long time long ago time. and so they're kind of like grandfathered in but if you're a patreon member you can send us private messages there's also a community section um on the youtube web page so right. i'm going to leave a link for that down below but basically you go to youtube.com slash two crazy ketos that's going to pull up our home page and there you go across the bottom and there's a community tab and you could leave messages there. We're going to put posts there. So I'm excited about that. We also transferred all of our videos over to library. I am so, so thankful. There for is that, a John. backup and you can go watch them over there as well. So go over to library. I'll leave a link for it down below and uh, go ahead and sign up for us or subscribe to us over there. Primarily everything's on YouTube. What happens is, is that's kind of like a backup for us. So if Just YouTube in case. goes down or something like that, it, what happens is, is after a day or two, it ports all the videos from YouTube over there. So that's what it's in the middle of doing. And there's 975 of them. So it is slowly porting all of our videos over there so we have a complete backup online, not just on my computer. So I'm excited about that. Me too. And uh, also, I want to remind everybody, next week will be the first coaching session with Coach Bronson. How for awesome. For all the Patreons. And the upper level, I believe it's the the meatheads uh -huh. or the family and higher for our channel members. So they'll get all the links for that. But I'm really, really excited about that. So we're going to go ahead and eat. We'll check in with you guys later on. Like I said, we have the live stream and then we're going to figure out what else we're going to eat for dinner. What are you doing? I am slicing up our bacon. Why is it coming out in a U? Why is it folded over? Okay, so because we have a small slicer, I bought this on Amazon super cheap, but our pork belly is wider than this. So here's a little secret, and it'll also help it slice better. Wrap it into a circle, a half circle like this, wrap it in a rubber band, put it in the freezer, and let it freeze. Then you're gonna take it out when you're ready to slice it, let it thaw just a little bit. It's pretty solid frozen still, it slices easier and you don't have to deal with all the fat getting everywhere. And now look at that, you're getting perfect slices. Now, once you start cooking it, it will straighten up a little bit, but it makes it easier to slice and you can get perfect slices every time. So we just finished the live stream with Dr. Barry. It was so much fun. It was amazing. It was amazing. And Joe is bringing home the bacon. Oh, I left the cabinet door open again. Sorry. Sorry, Heath. Sorry, Heath. We closed it. Um, okay, so yeah, we he slicing bacon up. That looks like a happy plate. And I'm going to have some fried pork belly. I love it in the air fryer. So first you smoke, this is yesterday's pork belly. And then we just cut it up. To, ooh, look at that. Uh, wouldn't you rather have this? 
I don't know. that bacon. I don't know. This looks pretty amazing. So we just cut it up into chunks and put it in the air fryer, and it is so stinking good. What are you doing here, sir? Okay, so um, we've had pork for the last two days, the pork belly, which is bacon, uh, but I'm in the mood for some beef now. So we got these eye round roasts at Costco. Figure we're gonna make this tomorrow on the rotisserie on the Kamado Joe. So I'm basically doing a dry brine right now. Just gonna cover the entire thing with salt. We're gonna go ahead and put this on a drying rack just like this, which is basically a cookie sheet with a cookie cooling rack in here. Put this in the refrigerator like this. Don't wrap it. So what's gonna happen is all that salt is gonna pull the moisture out. It's gonna make it super tender. Then tomorrow, I'm gonna inject it with melted butter. I feel like we have discovered a new food group in smoked pork belly. What do you mean a new food group? I have never had this before, just this amazing. It's really, really good. So this is a half of our pork belly. <laughs> so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and break it down into like one pound packages and then we'll put it like into the freezer because it is still pretty frozen. But this is just a great way. I mean, look at that. Nice bacon. And I think we paid like $3.50, $4 a pound for this pork belly. So compare that to bacon prices. And again, you know what's in it. Mm -hmm. So there's no extra sugar in this. I mean, I don't worry about sugar so much in my bacon because it's only ever on the outside. It's part of the cure. You're going to just cook it off anyway. I don't buy like the maple bacon, but I will buy bacon. If, there, if you look at the ingredient, there's a little bit of sugar. It's still like less than one carb. Dr. Barry says the same thing. Don't worry about the sugar. If you can get it super clean, get it, but don't worry about it. I certainly don't worry about having nitrite, nitrate free bacon. I cure mine with nitrates. It just doesn't bother me. So uh, yeah, we had, I'm gonna put this off to the side because I'm just gonna wanna eat bacon now. Uh, we had a great live stream. It was so awesome. We're so thankful for Dr. Beery and just his mission. And we love spreading the word in yeah. our realm of influence. Like, who can we share Dr. Beery with? Because it's just, he's amazing. I don't know. He got through the entire live stream without just constantly cracking up looking at you in that hat. I mean. <laughs> but I seriously thought to myself, my biggest fear as a YouTuber is that you're going to go live with somebody that you admire to the level that I admire Dr. Barry and have a boogie. Like that would be a nightmare for me. Like when you're all done and you're looking back at the video and you're like, oh my gosh, there was a bat in the cave that entire time. So I'm just gonna wear my boogie right on my head. Just get it out there. You don't know what's gonna come out of Dr. Barry's mouth and you don't know what Rachel's <laughs> gonna wear during an interview. <laughs> I walked into the room and I'm like, are you really wearing that on this live stream? Like this is an important live stream. Yes, I this am. This is an important interview. And, and yeah, you're dressing up as a boogie. Sorry. So it looks like we are going to continue beef, butter, bacon, and egg through the end of the month. Are you scared because it's October 31st? <laughs> I'm not scared. I just want my keto chow. I don't want to go on two more vacations without having any of that kind of stuff. I'd like a Zevia. I'd like some of my Redmond Relight. But we're going to do it. Um, but what we're going to do is... We said we were going to do it through October, what is it, 25th, whatever next Wednesday is. Right. So we're going to open it up a little bit while we're gone okay. for the rest of the month. Or it's not October 20th, whatever, whatever next Wednesday is, the day we leave for um, Las Vegas. And we'll include, not that we're going to eat much more of it because we don't have a lot of access to elk and that kind of stuff. But if we come across some elk. And if we, if we find some, some elk venison, in Las Vegas. We may have that. We may have some of the other ruminant animals. That seems fair. That's mm -hmm. that's an incentive. Yeah. You've got more coming to you. Something different if you need it. Like if we find some, you know, deer jerky. Right. That kind of thing. So it'll be interesting because we're going to be in Vegas, which we shouldn't have a problem finding a bunch of beef there. The only difference is, is we're staying in a hotel. We're not staying in a house where we can cook a we'll bunch of food it. for ourselves. Vegas has everything. So we're just going to be eating like lots of burgers and that kind of stuff. And then we're going camping for a couple of days while we're out there. So that'll be an interesting feat as well. well but if we can do it there, we can do it anywhere. Absolutely. Right? 
So that's going to be the end of today's vlog. A little bit of a shorter vlog, I think. I don't know how long our morning monologue was. <laughs> I don't know. I sit down to edit these things and I'm like, these are supposed to be short and we've got a 15 minute opening monologue. Sorry. We just don't know how to shut up. We don't. We just don't. Well, let's shut up now. Okay. So if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon in that way. Every single time we get to talk to Dr. Barry, you'll be alerted to it. Till tomorrow. Bye. Bye.